East Coast Trains is one of the British transport network's largest employers. Bonjour! <laughs> Around 3,000 men and women share a diverse range of duties. Here we go. You're Whistle the train. while we work. <laughs> For most, it's so much more rewarding than a boring old desk job. Look at this office window. Fantastic. Not for them, a regular nine to five. <laughs> Even if that means dealing with boisterous passengers. We come from Scotland and we are great. Or disgruntled customers. But how long is that going to take? We've already been here for half an hour, mate. I do understand your frustration, my friend. When I left my last job as a, as a finance director when I, when I joined the railway. I told my managing director when I, when I told him I was going, if, if I had all the money in the world, I would actually pay someone to let me drive trains. But now somebody pays me to do it, so I, I can't ask for any more. East Coast Trains employs a total of 330 drivers manoeuvring diesel and electric trains along the backbone of Britain. It's every child's dream to drive a train, but only a lucky few ever get the chance. Steve traded in his nine-to-five job as an accountant for a new life on the railway. Uh, first thing I do when I get on the loco is I just check the repair book to make sure there's nothing in the repair book before I put the key in and then I set the train up ready to do a brake test and just check the lights to make sure all the lights are okay. So I just do the brake test. So the, the brake pipe's going down, which shows that we've got a brake all the way through from the loco to the back of the train. I think we're okay. There doesn't seem to be any drastic repairs booked, so I think we're hopefully we'll be away on time. But I've got no wood to touch, so I should not have said that. <laughs> With his checks complete and his passengers on board, Steve is ready to set the 8.30 from London's King's Cross on its way to Newcastle. Today we have eight stops all together, including Newcastle when we get there. I'm just going to check, test the horn because I test it when I leave King's Cross just to make sure it's working before we get too far. And this noise that you can hear there, that's our vigilance device, which I hear going off a number of times on the trip. It goes off approximately every 90 seconds. If you don't cancel it by lifting your foot and putting it back down again, the train brakes go on and it stops the train. But we get a very limited amount of time to cancel that. It's about one and a half seconds. So you hope you don't get too many noises going off at the same time. <laughs> 